Elle veut me sortir de son cœur. Et je t'ai donné mon cœur. Et maintenant, c'est la guerre. Je vous fais baisser jusqu'au bout de la terre. Je t'ai mon manégain, mon manégain, mon manégain. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Coucou tout le monde et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So, today's video is about people asking me, um, you know, what did you do, sis? And, you know, all that good jazz because if you guys don't follow me on all my other social media platform on september 9th i got engaged to the guy you guys all know jordan and yeah for those that don't know i have a couple of videos with him on this channel so yes i know i haven't uploaded like the video of my engagement because you know i'm getting prepared for that i'm not gonna upload it anytime soon just be patient with me i have some friends on instagram that have asked me about the, the video when I, when it's coming out and I also have some of you guys that have asked me when is the video coming out I will bring the video out but I will just take some time you know because you know I just feel like it's not time yet I'm still adjusting to that life of, of calling him my fiance instead of my boyfriend you know all that good stuff so yeah so but first before we get started um don't forget to give the video a thumbs up comment down below in type of video you would like to see next and also don't forget to follow me on my social platform that's instagram twitter and snapchat i will be listed down below and i'll also put it here on the screen for your convenience and yeah make sure you do follow me because i post regularly on those platforms and that's probably why you guys didn't know you know what has been going on and i posted some um bit and pieces of the surprise engagement party on my snapchat so if you follow me on social media platform on my social media platforms you'll be able to you know see certain things that i don't always post on youtube um yeah so people have been doing this thing i have seen on social media a couple of times where they're like um sis tell us what did you do or what did you pray for like they were asking you know what did sierra pray for for her you know for her man russell wilson and all that stuff so i personally sat down and thought about it and i came up with a couple of things that i have to say and yeah i was also thinking about making a video talking about um how how do you know the man is the one if you want to see that video make sure you comment it down below or DM me if you want me to post a video talking about how do you know he's the one okay so yeah I first want to say that I prayed for two things okay because when I sat on my corner like I was sitting last night I sat I sat in my bed by myself I was thinking like what did I really pray for like what did I really want like what did I really like sat down and ask God to give me because trust me guys, I don't care about what you guys believe. If you guys believe in God or not, I don't care. But I just, I believe in God and I feel like God listens and he gives us what we want. Depending on, you know, if he really feel like it's right for us. So I was really praying for God to give me a man like Jordan. I'm going to be honest. Like, yeah, I was praying for most of the qualities that I have required from a man were Jordan has those qualities. So... I found them in Jordan but the greatest thing out of all this is that Jordan came in my life when I least expected it when I was on my player stuff I'm not gonna lie I was just starting college and I honestly just wanted to have fun like I wasn't looking into no relationships I was just like talking to guys here and there like I'll talk to a guy for like a couple of weeks to you know a month or two max and I'll start talking to them and I'll talk to another guy just to have fun honestly like I didn't really want to be in a relationship Cause I didn't want to get hurt so I thought when I met Jordan the same thing was gonna happen I'm not gonna lie to you guys but before we get to that part let me tell you guys about the two things I prayed for I prayed for myself first I wanted God to change certain things within myself that I felt like wasn't um, wifey material I would say okay so I have my little YouTube book you guys know I got it at a YouTube event and where i wrote a couple of things about what i'll be talking about on this video so if you see me looking down that's what i'm looking at to make sure i'm not you know leaving anything out so i pray for two things which are what i need and how to improve myself before i thought about what i want in a man that was the first and foremost which is the reason why i wasn't looking for a relationship because i was still you know working on myself at that time okay so I prayed for God to I prayed to God for him to 
um, to to like help me change certain part of myself, which he did obviously because now like I don't feel like I'm the person I used to be like when I was in high school for instance and all that stuff so Jordan and I got together when at least expected me expected with meaning I was not looking for a boyfriend and I feel like that's one thing that us girls do like we feel like we need a man and no like when I met him I was doing my own thing I was independent like I was not depending on anybody honestly besides living in my parents house I was doing everything on my own so I didn't really need a man even though he came so that was another thing and um I was talking to guys without trying without trying to catch feelings meaning I was talking to guys because I have been hurt in the past I did not want to be hurt again so that doesn't mean I was just being you know HOE you no know? it's more like I was being like um, player like I said my player ish like I was just on my player ish like I would talk to you just to just have fun you know talk chat here and there and then boom talk to somebody else that doesn't mean like we would do things together no like I'll just talk for the fun of it trying not to catch feelings because you know I was still, I was I was focusing on myself I wasn't focusing on getting anybody you know or getting in a relationship now so um I will also give this advice I feel like I was hurt in the in the past because you know I was like um, in high school and everybody had a boyfriend there so I felt like I needed a boyfriend do not rush do not force yourself in a relationship where you feel like you shouldn't be in that type of relationship if you feel something you know leave the relationship like I like why stay I felt like I was staying in my old past relationships because people had boyfriends or because I wanted to prove a point or because um, I didn't want to be alone like it's good to be alone at times and that's when like you are missing the opportunity to meet the men of your dream when you are just sitting there at the, in that relationship that's useless or that you feel like it doesn't really qualify what you were you know what you had in mind for example if I in the man I'm looking for a man that um, what can I say I'm looking for a man that's like selfless okay so I'm looking for a man that's very caring if you have a man that's or that has one of the quality but not the other you know it makes sense for you to be with the person but if he has none of them and you're just gonna stay there because you want to be in a relationship like come on sis no you gotta go do not rush in anything as well like not because a guy is talking to you he looks cute or because the guy is providing for you means that you have to hop you know and start dating him no it doesn't work like that because it would just be like a one two year thing and then y'all will break up and it's time wasted on both ends so yeah if you're in a relationship that you feel like you shouldn't be in do not force it because that was another thing I had been in a relationship where I was cheated on but I came back I forgave because I did not have any vivid proof if you feel it then it's there put them in period like I don't care like that's what I'm talking about you know what I prayed for like I prayed for after being in that relationship I prayed for someone not to do that to me ever again that was one of my prayers like I'm telling you guys prayers do work guys like it's crazy like pray 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 prayers does work so they do work so um I used to do the player thing not to try to catch feelings but I also was not like you know doing the do, doing the nasty with those people okay it will be like most of them were even long distance honestly so it will be like you know we're gonna be texting here and there calling each other you know phone talk da, 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 da. and after I even have a feeling or I even think like I don't even care I don't need to see it for so those that were long distance if I feel like you are messing with another female or another female is like all over your pictures on your social media I'm out like I was just that type of girl because I was like, uh-uh, I've been hurt for after being in the relationship for that long, so it's not going to happen. Because mind you, my real relationship before Jordan was a year and three months, I believe. So I wasn't ready for anything and that was going to be wasting time with, like that was going to be wasting my time or anything of that nature. So yeah. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not going to really edit this video because I want to tell you guys the real spill. Like, this is it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. So... 
So the biggest thing that Jordan already knows about this, the biggest thing that happened and I almost made a mistake of is when Jordan came around, I wanted to train him like I traded those other guys that I was talking to, which is talking for a few weeks or max a month or two and leave. But I don't know, like I caught feeling without wanting to catch feelings. And that's one of the reasons why I felt like, damn, like, whoa, what is going on? I was trying not to, like, guys, I promise, I was trying not to catch feelings, but I ended up catching feelings. So I was like, oh, snap. Even when I wanted to, like, be like, oh, let me back up a little bit, I couldn't at that point. And I remember one day I talked to my sister, I was like, hmm, like, hmm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to be in a relationship. My sister was like, you, I don't know if she even remembers this, she was like, you going to end up losing someone that could have been, you know, there for you for the rest of your life. So she said that to me and it really resonated in my head. I was like, oh my God, for my older sister to tell me that, let me actually take my feelings because I, I wanted to just ignore those feelings and keep it moving up to, on, on to the next. But she was like, after she talked to me and told me that, I was like, damn, let me just acknowledge these feelings and his feelings as well because he was also catching feelings. And yeah, so um, I feel very lucky to have Jordan as my fiance, I really feel lucky. I feel like he is, I'm not saying this just for the YouTube or just for, to please anybody. Um, I have touched all the points of my book, by the way, I'm putting it down. So I really feel very lucky to have him. He's like the best guy I have ever dated, hands down. And that is not because I'm with him now, that's the fact. And he's the best in all types of, all the all all types of um, field yeah, a boyfriend should be best at. You guys think about it. If you're smart, you will know what I'm talking about. Everywhere he's the best. Like he's the nicest. He's the most caring. He's like understanding. And he, if you know me, if you know me in real life, you know I'm a very. Um, I have like I'm a very since I'm the youngest in the family so I have like this thing in me like I like things my way and he knows how to bring that down a, a notch and be like okay baby this time it's not gonna be your way we have to work this or this time you know let it be your way just to please you like he knows exactly when and how to do that which is what I love 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 him and yeah he is like he and he listens to me he's the ears that's always there for me so I feel very lucky and blessed to have him as a man like I remember when I when I met him, I told him my type of guy were like dark skin guys. I have, we have already said that in one of our old videos of how we met. So I was like, I want dark skin guys, and you know, I don't want the guy that's too tall. If you have no, yeah, I don't know. Jordan is tall. He is really tall. So I was like, I don't want no tall guys. You know, slightly t a bit, you know, slightly taller than me, not much. It's fine for me. Like that was my typical man back then. So. When I met him, I was like, wow, you are completely the opposite. Like, I like dark. When I'm, like, I like dark. You know those clean, dark chocolate men? Like, that was my type. So, and Jordan is no dark skin. He's brown skin. So, I was like, wow. Like, you came and you changed my whole view on the type of men I like and all that good stuff. So, yeah. That is how to find a boyfriend. Don't look for it, sis. Let it come by itself, sis. And if you are some, if you are in a relationship that you feel like you shouldn't be get out of there because your prince charming is on the way you know it can be sooner it can be later you know sis he's gonna come and pray prayers to work pray and make sure you love yourself first that was my last point make sure you love yourself first because you cannot love anybody else if you don't love yourself okay you have to be able to love yourself before you can try to or attempt loving somebody else or else you will just be giving your all to that one person and if tomorrow it doesn't work or you guys don't last you are gonna be super hurt like very i'm talking about like extremely hurt because you never loved yourself first you never give the time to, of you know the time for yourself to love yourself if that makes sense so yes guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you guys have any other question comment it down below i'll answer them you can chat you guys already know we chat a lot at the comment section down below i'm also willing to like i said earlier make a video of you know how you know that he's the one because i've gotten that question as well like how do you know that jordan was the one and i also want to film a video of like um um i don't know like advice to girls 
that are trying to that, that have low self-esteem that are trying to work on themselves on in loving themselves i'm planning on do, doing those type of videos as well if those are videos that you may be interested in don't forget to also comment down below my dms are always open and my snapchat follow me on there twitter you guys know i talk to everybody on that that that, that dm me or that um snap me or message me whatever the case is i always answer to you guys don't forget let's chat in my dms or in the comment section down below if you don't mind um yeah thank you so much once again for watching this video and i'm happily a fiance yay so yes guys um i love you guys so 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 much and don't forget to follow me on my social media platform that's instagram twitter and snapchat to keep you know be updated with what's going on in my life and yeah i'll catch you guys in my next one Mwah. bye guys au revoir